ABC 17 storm track weather alert at 630 and things are a mess in mid Missouri as the snow is still falling in some parts all morning long. We've had team coverage to show you the current road conditions in Jefferson City and Columbia. There are also some big closings to tell you about, including some colleges. But first, we want to start with storm track meteorologist Brittany Beggs for a look at the current conditions and the timing of when the snow is going to stop. Brittany. Yeah, thanks, Christy. These models are showing the snow sticking around, unfortunately, through the mid morning hours and I do anticipate in our south and eastern counties we could be looking at this stuff staying with us through 11 o'clock this morning. You do see we're starting to get some clearing north of I-70 where it's encountering some drier air but further to our south if I zoom out here you can see these bands still over Columbia and also near Jefferson City starting to get a break over in Benton County and uh, also near Morgan but these are tracking south and east so more snow is expected near Warsaw and also near Riverview where, where we've got a break in the snow and I'm getting more reports in Boone County near the Centralia area at 637. I'm going to show you the latest reports from our storm trackers and I'll be breaking down the out the door forecast. Christy. Thanks, Brittany. In the last 60 minutes, we confirm Mizzou has canceled classes for today. University officials say only those staff members that are situationally critical should report for work today. Later on in our newscast, we're going to talk with a university official about this decision. Stevens College has also decided to cancel classes for today. So have the Columbia and Lake of the Ozark campuses for Columbia College as well as Lincoln University. Now, most public schools are closed today already because it's President's Day. Some that would have been open open though are now closed because of the snow. Some include North Callaway R1 schools, Blackwater R2, Sturgeon R5, and Gasconade County R2, all closed today. Also, the Cargill processing plant in California is closed. In Columbia, Watlow Manufacturing, their first shift is now delayed until 9 this morning. That's an update. And we also just got word that Como Connect is also starting at 10 o'clock this morning. Well, this morning, road crews, they continue to try and tackle clearing all the snow, but it continues to come down, so that's a problem. Right now, it's still snowing in Jefferson City, and that's where we're going to check back in with ABC 17's Joe McLean. Joe, we've been checking in with you all morning long. What's the latest update that you have for us? Well, Christy, I checked in again with uh, Cole County Public Works, and they say that uh, the snow's really coming down as fast as they can plow it. But I asked them about, uh, because I was hearing earlier from some drivers that they were uh, sliding off the road here, uh, and I asked Cole County Public Works, what should a driver do if, they, uh, if their car slides off the road? And what they tell me is... Um, you should stay with your car. Stay in your car and stay with your car. Uh, call somebody for help and, or uh uh, because braving the cold out here is obviously dangerous and, and uh, pedestrians walking around here when cars are in a state of less control is obviously also dangerous. Um, take a look at Truman Boulevard right now. Traffic's picking up a little bit and that's another thing that they say um, uh, you need to be wary of as you're out on those roads is give other cars extra room. Um, I've been uh, out here all morning and I'll keep uh, track of these road conditions for you. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Joe McLean, ABC 17 News. Thanks, Joe. And here in Columbia, similar situation. Road crews, they are out and roads remain covered at this hour. The city is also making a request for some of those parking on streets. For more on this, we join ABC 17's Heather Horgan, who is live off of Providence Road in Columbia. Heather, what updates do you have for us? Well, Christy, the snow is still falling. And like you did just mention that uh, Public Works does want people to not park on some priority routes. You can see the sign behind me, no parking when snow is over two inches. It clearly is over two inches. Um, this is East Texas, and it seems like everyone did abide by that. No one is here parking. If you did forget to move your car, you can expect a $100 fine or possibly your car being towed. Now, I did just check in with Columbia Public Works. An update for you is that the Columbia Regional Airport is still open this morning. Uh, they said, though, flights may be delayed. They don't know yet, but it is still open. As far as roads go, uh, Columbia Public Works is still working on those priority routes. This is Providence. You can see it is still snow covered. They have 200 miles of priority roads. So they have a lot to cover um, and you can see the snow still falling. So it's not helping much, but they are um, they are making progress this morning. And if you do have to drive this morning, you do want to be careful. I've seen a couple of cars slide this morning, so you do uh, want to be careful there. Reporting live in Columbia, Heather Horgan, ABC 17 news.
Thanks so much, Heather, for that update. We also are just getting word that the 165 mile marker on westbound I-70 is closed right now in Callaway County due to an accident. And we also, we want to get to the road conditions statewide. So let's take a look at MODOP's latest road condition map. You can see all the roads marked in purple here. They are covered. Roads in dark blue, those would be partly covered and light blue indicates mostly clear, but right now everything's listed as purple. So it's all covered at this point. We're going to continue to check on this map throughout the morning for updates, but it's remained covered all morning long. And again, westbound I-70, 165 mile marker. It is closed down to one lane there due to an accident. And we have a link to this map on our website, abc17news.com. We also got word from the Missouri House that due to the weather, they're going to just be holding a technical session. Also, all the committee hearings that were scheduled for today, they are canceled because of the weather. We're getting word this morning that the dangerous weather in Missouri has proven to be deadly. Troopers in southwest Missouri say a driver ran off an ice-covered road in Jasper County. The vehicle flipped and both the driver and passenger were thrown out. The passenger, 32-year-old Daniel Poltz of Webb City, was killed in this crash. We aren't the only ones dealing with the impacts of a winter storm. Take a look at what happened in Chicago. Slippery roads triggered a pileup involving 39 vehicles. 12 people were taken to area hospitals for minor injuries, including one firefighter. And out east, they are also dealing with a mess once again. This is a look you're about to see of a pileup in Waltham, Massachusetts. More than 20 cars were involved. In Boston, more than a foot of new snow fell. Officials are asking people to stay in as cities dig out. Uh, I certainly share, I think, the same frustration that other people feel with respect to the ongoing uh, blizzards of 2015. Uh, but the most important thing we can all do at this point is to be cautious and careful. And in Massachusetts, hundreds of National Guard troops have been called in to help with snow removal. Time now, 637 with an ABC 17 storm track weather alert. Snow continuing to fall. Some moderate snowfall rates where we do have some higher, some of these bands uh, moving through. These are tracking southeast, so starting to clear out further north near Highway 36. Still getting some snow, though, over Audrain County. Getting some clearing over Howard County and also Randolph. We're clear, though, in Saline. That is the good news. I do want to zoom in here, though. These are tracking southeast. Starting to get out of northern Boone County as these uh, bands are, tra as I mentioned, tracking south and east, and it's from this area of low pressure further to our south, and you do see this area of low pressure. It's going to be tracking uh, further north and east, so it's going to be moving across the Tennessee Valley later today, but it wraps around, and that's what's responsible for bringing these bands of snow. Now, I do have one model showing we could see still some flurries through lunchtime today and even through 2 o'clock in our eastern, south and eastern counties near I-44. So these bands are tracking northeast, but the entire system system is tracking east, which means we're going to see these snow showers taper off and we're already seeing them taper off in our northern counties. So I'm looking at additional one to three inches. Reports I've had is five inches over Columbia and I do imagine we've had a little bit more now. So waiting for those reports to come in, looking at additional one to three possible along I-70 and then three to six additional over Highway 50 and further south as these snow showers do taper off. So I've adjusted the timing of this once again, moving in, ending around of near our eastern counties along I-70 through 8 o'clock and then near Highway 50 by 9 p.m. These bands of snow are sticking with us this morning. I-44 by lunchtime and then I'm besides the snow I'm tracking the coldest temperatures of the season moving in this week. As you're headed out the door, uh, unfortunately if you can stay home from work today, Centralia's uh, our storm tracker Cindy Hardy reporting 13 degrees with 4 inches of snow that's in northern Boom. I want to show you our snow chances. They do decrease as we head towards lunchtime so that that is the good news. Your out the door forecast, lots of cloud cover for later this afternoon. We'll stay into the mid 20s today and Tuesday, but check out Wednesday. An Arctic front moves in and we do have another blast of cold air moving in midweek. I'll talk more about that coming up at 647. Still to come on ABC 17 News this morning, where the news comes first. Police in Jefferson City are investigating a deadly shooting. We'll bring you the latest details in this case. The time now, 640.
Welcome back. The time now is 642. Well, right now, an investigation continues into a homicide in Jefferson City. A 52-year-old man was shot and killed near his home in the 1100 block of East High Street yesterday. Police have been talking to people that the victim was associated with to try and find out more about the homicide. Neighbors tell us the victim was quiet and kept to himself. Police say there are currently no suspects or suspect descriptions. New overnight, Egypt has launched airstrikes against ISIS. It comes after the extremist group released a video last night showing more beheadings of Egyptian hostages. U.S. officials say the group's barbarity, quote, knows no bounds. The airstrikes were against targets in Libya, such as training camps. The time now is 643. We're going to take another live look here at Columbia, where the snow is starting to taper off a little bit. We're going to have another report on the roads coming up. And I am also tracking the coldest temperatures of the season so far this week. Wind chills are expected to be below zero for over 24 hours. I'll show you when, coming up at 647. The time now is 647 with an ABC 17 storm track weather alert. Still seeing the snow coming down. It's starting to exit our western counties. Over in Columbia, we're at 14 degrees. Visibility is about three miles. It does feel more like three degrees, though, if you do have to head out the door. By this time Wednesday, though, we be much colder. 13 degrees over in Sedalia. As you see, the snow has ended. Lots of snowpack, though. I do want to show you our Doppler radar where we're starting to see the snow end in our north and western counties. So Celine, Howard, also Mober and Randolph County, we're out of the woods there, but still going to be coming down near Audrain County within the hour and I do want to zoom in here over Columbia so these bands continue to track southeast what we're looking at here is these snow showers are still coming in from the west so they're still pushing north and east but the entire system is tracking southeast so we're going to see these snow showers end about mid morning and then unfortunately in our south and eastern counties Mary's County Gasconade Phelps Pulaski we could see that continue even through 11 o'clock you can see we've gotten a break in some snow further to our south over Benton County but as these tracks southeast more snow moving into coal camp we're looking at more on the way for Riverview and also there near Nobby so zooming out here these bands will unfortunately continue uh, through more through the morning your ABC 17 storm track feature track this model showing us eight o'clock this morning most of this east of 65 i do think this stuff is going to be sticking with us through about 11 o'clock and that is going to be for our counties east of six east, excuse me east of 63 and further to our south near i-70 now tomorrow there's a small by this afternoon two o'clock lots of cloud cover may see a few flurries but nothing is expected to accumulate to accumulate this afternoon the abc 17 storm track feature track by one o'clock tomorrow showing another cold front moving in. That's what we're looking at this week. Waves of cold fronts moving in. As this tracks south and east, we'll see additional snow tomorrow afternoon. And I think we could even pick up a quarter of an inch of snow. So looking at a dusting tomorrow. By 5 o'clock, the front slides south. And you see we could see a little bit of snow near I-44. That's tomorrow evening. As you're headed out the door today, we'll stay into the mid-20s this afternoon. Wind chills will top into the teens. But as that cold front that I just showed you moves in tomorrow, another blast of cold air makes its way in. So Wednesday morning, 5 o'clock, we'll be waking up to wind chills below zero. And a few of us don't see those wind chills get above zero until Thursday morning. So by Wednesday, feeling more like negative eight in Columbia, further north you head, much colder. By 1 p.m., notice our north and eastern counties still feeling below zero. And then Thursday morning, you do see by 5 o'clock, even colder, negative 12. And I do think by 11 o'clock is when we'll start to see the wind chills get above zero. So that is midweek. You can see those temperatures staying into the um, teens uh, midweek. Keep in mind, our uh, lowest high temperature we've had so far is 20 degrees. So we haven't seen actual highs into the teens, but we're going to see that midweek, and our lowest temperature we've had is zero. But we're going to be breaking that, I think, Wednesday night, dropping near negative two. So snow today, cold temperatures the rest yes. of the week. Very winter-like seven-day forecast. Yes. Thanks so much, Brittany. Yep. Well, just over an hour ago, a call came in that Mizzou is canceling classes for today. All students and staff are being told to stay home except those that are situationally critical. And we've got Christian Basie with the MU News Bureau on the phone with us live. Christian, I know this is a big decision for officials to make, so how did they come to it? Um, well, good morning. Um, at, there have been several folks who have been working throughout the night um, 
evaluating the roads, analyzing the situation, determining what was possible and what wasn't. Uh, they met several times throughout the evening, and they came to a full decision shortly before 5 a.m. this morning. And what is the campus? What's the situation? What does it look like there right now? Um, well, again, safety is our number one priority, and right now we felt that it would not be a, a situation where we would want students, faculty, and staff out in force, uh, that it would not be safe. Um, and so the roads are, are apparently covered. The, the sidewalks are, are not in the greatest of shape. So having uh, the campus completely closed will allow our crews, who are doing a fantastic job, to get the campus ready um, as quickly as possible. All right. Well, Christian, thank you so much for joining us this morning and giving us an update about why Mizzou decided to cancel classes for today. Thanks. Have a good morning. You too. Well, right now, plows, they are out all over the area trying to get those roads clear ahead of the morning commute. We've been checking in with ABC 17's Heather Horrigan. She's live in Columbia off of Providence. Heather, what update do you have for us? Well, Christy, the roads are still snow covered. I do have an update as far as accidents. I just checked back in with Joint Communications. They say there are still no accidents to report off, but once again, more slide offs. Right now, the latest slide off was on I-70 near mile marker 120, which is just west of the Midway exit. I asked if the road was blocked off, if it was closed. Uh, she said that every the traffic seems to be moving okay because it was a slide off, so uh, you shouldn't expect too many delays over in that area, but just another reminder that the roads are slick this morning, so if you do have to head out, make sure you're careful. Reporting live in Columbia, Heather Horgan, ABC 17 News. Thanks so much, Heather. We'll continue to check in with her, and we're going to have another hit from our crew in Jefferson City. We've also been monitoring road conditions statewide, and we want to look at this MoDOT map. Take a look at it. All the roads covered in purple, those are covered. So if they're de detailed in purple, that means that they are covered right now. And also you can see there is an accident that we're currently watching at the 165 mile marker. It's at the Callaway Montgomery County line. All westbound lanes of I-70 are closed there due to an accident right now that crews are working. So again, 165 mile marker of I-70 westbound. Those lanes are closed due to an accident. That's the Callaway Montgomery County line. We will continue to keep an update on this and if you want to look at this map again, we have a link to it on our website, abc17news.com. We also want to show you this video that we had, took overnight. This is a look at a time lapse of all that snow that came into Columbia. This is over a nine hour period. It's a view from our weather camera that's looking on I-70 westbound. You can see all the snow moving in, continues to stay in and pile up. The time now, we're coming up on 6.54. We're going to head back out to our cruise in Jefferson City. This is a live look. Snow continuing to come down there. We're going to have an update from them coming up. For years, I-70's crumbling roads have needed repairs, but are you willing to pay up? We're looking at the hotly debated toll road proposal and showing you how these roads work in our neighboring states. Tonight at 9 and 10 on ABC 17 News. We want to recap some of the cancellations. Mizzou, they've canceled classes for today because of all the snow. Also closed today, Stevens College, the Columbia and Lake of the Ozarks campuses for Columbia College and Lincoln University. And most public schools, they are closed today already because it's President's Day. Some that would have been open are now closed because of the snow. Those include North Callaway R1 schools, Blackwater R2, Sturgeon R5, and Gasconade County R2, all closed. And these closings and more can be found on our website, abc17news.com. The time now, 657 with an ABC 17 storm track weather alert. Temperatures are in the teens. Here's our look at our radar. You can see the snow is ending in northern Boone County. It's ended in Howard, also Saline, still affecting just south of Hughesville, there near Pettis County. These bands are tracking south and east, so we're getting a break in Benton right over Riverview and Nobby, but these, I still think we're going to see additional snow in our southern counties and especially in our south and eastern counties. This concludes Gascony. Mary's and our counties near I-44. We're looking at possibly another three to six inches on top of what's already fallen in our counties near I-44. But good news is I think within the next half hour, we're going to be seeing these snow showers end in Columbia and within the next hour near the Jefferson City area. Temperatures stay into the mid-20s today and tomorrow. Another blast of Arctic air moves in midweek, so colder temperatures are going to be with us by Wednesday. Thanks so much, Brittany. We want to have another check of the road conditions in Jefferson City, so we're going to head back out to ABC 17's Joe McLean. Joe? 
Christy, the snow has not slowed down here in uh, Jefferson City. And another thing that hasn't slowed down is the snow plows. In the last uh, 20 minutes, I, I've seen uh, along Truman Boulevard here where I am, uh, three or four different snow plows coming through and scraping this road. And you can actually see uh, the road is actually starting to clear with the increased traffic um, where the road was not even visible because of all the snow is now you can you can actually see it. And you can see traffic picking up from the last uh, in the last 30 minutes. Um, but the number one thing, I've been saying it all morning, uh, that uh, uh, Cole County Public Works has been telling me is that drivers today, if you have anywhere to go today, obviously a lot of schools have been closed, but if you have anywhere to go today, take it slow on those roads today and uh, use caution.